turned up zero. <laughs> Voss. I work down in cargo. The fact is, we've been stealing from you, sir. It started small, just uh, moving harmless contraband on and off the station. Pharma's food not on the safe list. I don't know, maybe you don't pay your tax and hardware enough, but uh, Lily got ambitious after a while. Started stealing neuromods, fabrication plans, selling them to Transtar rivals. Yeah. Sit on that for a sec, Mr. Yu. Chasma's got our IP now. <laughs> Lily made me modify some of the old alarm panels around Talos so uh, <clears throat> we could uh, use them as dead drops. I'm certain a few of them still have company property. Three taps of the wrench will pop it open. Anyway, I, I just wanted to say... Uh, <clears throat> I never meant for things to get out of hand. It just uh, took on a life of its own. But uh, I'd like to make it right, any way I can. That's all. Captain Hale, Shuttle Exalt. I'm trying to hail the bridge, getting zip. Can you confirm, please? I have some system malfunctions. It's, uh, it's across the board. It's hard to make sense. I, I need to park ASAP. I recommend security detail when I come in. Hearing some noise in the cabin. Shit, what is going on? I don't know why I can't reach anyone, but I am dead in the water. Repeat, I have zero engines. I'm drifting. God damn it, Steve, answer your transcribe. All right. Shit. Investigating cabin. I have a sidearm. If all clear, I will attempt to EVA to an airlock. Hello? 
Is someone... I'm in the escape pod with Emanuela de Silva. We're stuck in the launch tube. The hatch on the outside is supposed to blow when the pod launch initiates, but... I guess the bolts misfired. Could you help us out? You'd have to EVA to get the hatch off from the outside. I know it's a lot to ask. I don't know what else to do. Sit here and starve, I guess. There's an override switch behind the panel to force a pod launch. But don't hit that until the outside hatch is off. We'd be blown to bits. January was right. It was not you. But I keep hearing your voice and my father's voice. And it was not you, I know. You saved me because you wanted to. That is not the same person on the recording. Something's changed. I need to see that. I'm better now. I'll do what I can to get us off the station alive, but that log is coming with me. If you truly want forgiveness, you'll help me get it to where it belongs. No matter what that means for you, Antron Star.
in there, man? What's wrong with these pods? I... I... Thanks, Morgan. Means a lot to me that you did all that, despite Frank. I'm transmitting the location of something that could help. I couldn't get it off the station, but maybe it can help you. Frank, you in there, man? What's wrong with these pods? I... I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? It's your job to know, damn it! You inspected them, right? Yes. Then why the hell is the launch sequence doing jack shit? I don't know, Drew. I'm sorry. What about your pod? Open up! I... I can't do that. What are you talking about? Bolts in the outside hatch misfired. We're stuck in the launch tube. Ugh! You didn't wait for anyone else, you son of a bitch! I hope you starve to death in there! Mayor, did you hear that? Yeah, I heard it. Send an operator. That's what I'm doing, Niels. It's not responding. None of them are. Shit. Was it those things? Did they shut the air off? I don't know. It doesn't matter, though, right? I mean, it should be hours before we run out. <sighs> no, Niels. The system is working in reverse. It's pulling oxygen out of the air. We've got ten minutes. Tops. What? But...
nine black box operator ready to deploy. Please stand clear of aperture. Escape pods. Can you get to us? No. We cut the power to the lifts to keep those damn things from getting up to the control room. Well, well we're, we're all stuck here anyway. We can't get these pods open. I don't understand. I'll keep spamming the security computers with help requests. Maybe someone will notice eventually. 
Yeah, maybe. Doll. This is William Yu, acting chairman of the Trans Star Board of Directors. I will need your credentials to authorize this mission. Of course. My authentication sign is Zeta Invictus Emperor Tangerine. Sign checks out. Good morning, Director Yu. Shuttle is hot and holding orbit, awaiting mission parameters. You must secure every piece of Cobalt Clearance Level technology and research aboard Talos 1. Then eliminate all Transtar personnel. All personnel? No survivors. It's your show. And their funeral. Payment will be deposited into six separate Benelux accounts. After you transmit evidence of success. I leave my operator feeds on. Just keep watching. We strongly advise deploying your technical officer to a station router inside the firewalls first. Ideal location would be the station exterior, near the power plant grids. Yes, I've seen the schematics, Mr. Yu. Goodbye. You will destroy this transmission after... Responding. 
Atmosphere controls are in life support. If you can help, do it quick. Or this is the last time we'll be talking. Miss Elazar is right to be alarmed, though her assessment is mistaken. Dahl is manipulating the oxygen and nitrogen mixture. With nitrogen flooding into the atmosphere, anyone in the cargo bay will asphyxiate far more quickly than had he simply cut the oxygen. I suspect they'd already be dead if Dahl weren't trying to use them to manipulate you. to the atmosphere controls in life support. We're going to clear out Dal's shit can operators and make sure there are no more mishaps with the air on this station. Dal populated his entire crew with customized operators. He made the mistake of hanging his hopes in a machine. Flesh and blood is messy, Morgan, but it's the only thing that matters in the end. Well done. The blow just kicked in. Meet me in the operatum. We have important work to do. refer to the weekly upgrade for today's menu. Morgan, Tal is breathing I down my neck. <laughs> transport with the medical operator. Then we can see about removing his neuromod, and hopefully gaining a shuttle in the process. You never cease to impress me, Morgan. I'm coming out now. I promised you my arming cape. All I ask is you hear me out first. And you can blow Talos one to pieces if that's what you think is best. I don't think you'll do it. I know. Because I used to think we couldn't be trusted to play with fire without burning the house down. But you convinced me. You showed me anything was possible, even if the price was steep. That part of you is still in there. We can make history, Morgan. Not those leeches on the Transtar Board of Directors, not Mom and Dad. You and I. Just like we planned. We've got the data to confirm what you suspected. And Carl is broadcasting a neural signal. A secret message reaching to the stars. What I want to know is what is the message? And who is listening to it? I think you know. Ever since we first tested the Typhon Neuromods, you've known. This fabrication plan is for the Null Wave device prototype you conceived. It will hijack the coral signal and use it to deliver a massive shock to every Typhon organism at once. Take it. And the army key, I got that. What? Morgan!
You'll need to get down to the nearest clinic. Once that's done, I'll arrange transport with the medical operator. Well, here we are. Hopefully you'll never have to listen to this recording, but if you do, then something unfortunate's happened to me. I suspect you've seen enough by now to abandon the notion of destroying Talos One. I've always been the one who thought we couldn't be trusted to play with fire without burning the house down. But you convinced me that we could do anything we imagined. No matter how ridiculous. I hope you still believe that. If not, then I'm glad I died before seeing my brother succumb to pessimism. We have the data to confirm what you suspected. The coral is broadcasting a neural signal. A secret message reaching out to the stars. What I want to know is what is the message, and who is listening to it. I have a feeling you already know. I'm carrying a fabrication plan for the prototype null wave device you can see. Make one, then place it at the heart of the coral. We will hijack the coral signal and use it to deliver a massive shock to every Typhon organism at once. Good luck, Morgan. I just regret. I won't be at your side to see it happen. That creature is still trying to consume the station, and I've picked up multiple hull breaches. I believe in you, Morgan. Make this count. Morgan, we're in life support now. It's all clear. Air's normal across the board. I lost some good people fighting the black boxes. And Dal wasn't here. If you see him before I do, make him pay. Elazar out. Okay. Hello. So, my voice nice is obviously familiar. Probably sound more tired than usual. It's been never-ending, setting up the rooms and protocols to test the new mods. The risk is substantial, but if we succeed, copying neural networks from the Typhon onto human minds is going to change everything. So... I'm putting myself in the sim. I've done everything I can to make sure I don't wind up lobotomized. One last safety measure. Let me introduce October. Say hello. Hello, Dr. Yu. October will help you remember what you're supposed to do if things go sideways. Once testing starts, there's no going back. If, when, they uninstall the mods and reset the test, it'll rewind me. I'll forget everything. Theoretically, they could keep me reliving the same day over and over, and I'd never know. If you're listening to this... That's probably what happened. It also means I don't know if I can trust my own brother. Alex won't like what I have to say next. I started plans for a prototype null wave strong enough to kill every Typhon on Talos 1. I hid a copy of the plan on top of the data tower by the scary chair. You know the one I'm talking about. Alex agreed to explore the idea, but I know my brother. First sign of trouble, he'd rather blow it all up and blame someone else. So you're probably on your own. There's a lot at stake here. Too late to stick our heads in the sand. You know what to do.
to die. It's more important than ever now that we finish this the white way. Take care of the no wave device. I'll head for the bridge as soon as I catch my breath. Morgan, you anticipated the kind of appeal Alex would make. Sibling bonds. History. You programmed me to refute him point by point. However, we can skip that. A Typhon the size of a skyscraper is currently eating Talos 1 for lunch. Ergo, Alex is wrong. Destroy the station. Just as you planned. The blast will take the monster down with it. Destroy the station? But didn't you hear him? The null way. Alex is correct. It could work and preserve what we have learned here. We have to try. Igwe, look at the alien outside the station. Of course it's a risk, but we've seen the generator work. To destroy all this, to murder a species, and the research lost, it's... January is right, Morgan. We can't let these things get back to Earth, even if one of them hit Earthside. Morgan, please. Destroying the station should be the last option, not the first. Dr. Yu, Dr. Igwe, we have the subject, Dal, and his life signs are stable. Thank you. We are prepping him in the Neuromod Division now. Come as soon as you can. If the idea hasn't occurred to you, I'm sure it will eventually. Don't do it. I can't predict what would happen if you scan the Apex, but all my models point to suffering. Oh, my. 
Attention, station leadership has issued an alert. All personnel should report to muster stations immediately and await further instructions. Specimens required. Dr. Yu, Morgan, I was afraid you wouldn't make it. The subject, Dahl, has been secured. I believe I've isolated the correct neuromod. It is essential we say as little as possible of what has happened on the station and focus on the situation. Dahl, memory serves, should resort to field training and react accordingly. He was never one to question orders. Ready when you are, Morgan. Remember, if this works, say nothing. Your willing participation was a big success. It's already yielding valuable information for our scientists and engineers. So, please, rest easy for now. One, two, three. I'll come by to conduct your exit interview. See you soon. 
Hello, volunteer. My name is Bianca Goodwin. I'm the volunteer and guest liaison aboard Talos One. I wanted to be the first person to congratulate you when you woke. On behalf of everyone at Transtar, well done and thank you. I'm sure you feel disoriented. This is because you've just experienced a medical procedure known as apto-regressive neurotomy. For the next few hours, you might have trouble with fine motor skills or recalling details. More importantly, your memory of the tests is completely gone. But don't worry. I want you to know your willing participation was a big success. It's already yielding valuable information for our scientists and engineers. So, please, rest easy for now. Once you feel well enough, I'll come by to conduct what? your exit interview. Who are you? See you soon. Your father's been asking about you and Alex. I wanted to be the first person to congratulate you when you woke on behalf of everyone at Transtar. Why am I restrained? Commander. Do, I am Dr. Igwe, chief physician here. You... I've seen your face in the company directory. Alex's pet. The discredited parapsychologist. Ah. Commander Dahl, you've suffered a severe head injury as a result of a crisis here on the station. We need to evacuate at once, but we... we couldn't leave without you. Are you able to pilot a shuttle? What? Yes, of course I can pilot... Wait, what emergency? Is this Argus installation? Where's Casper? I'm afraid there's no time to explain. We need to get to the shuttle bay and prepare for departure. Transtar mandate. Doctor, you can confirm. Of course. Morgan, you look like shit. All right, let's get Daddy's precious child off the station. Or Transtar will black box me. With fine motor skills or recalling details. Just More need to check your vitals. Your memory of the test is completely gone. There's nothing wrong with me. Don't worry. I want you to know your willing participation was a big success. It's already yielding valuable information for our time. It's by design that I can predict what you're going to do fairly often. And yet. This turn of events with Dahl. I'm impressed and surprised you've managed to find a way to get remaining crew off the station. 